welcome to Little Learners. In today's video I'm going to be talking about fine motor and gross motor skills, what they are and what you can do at home to help your child develop in these different skills. But before we go any further I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who is watching and everyone who has subscribed because we have just reached 1,000 subscribers. It is so overwhelming and I'm really touched that so many of you have been so supportive since I started the Little Learners YouTube channel. Little Learners is something that I really believe in and I really hope that the audience can continue to grow. Please continue to share with your friends and keep watching for more exciting videos that can help you help your child with their education. So with fine motor and gross motor skills it's important to know that they are two different things but they link together. So first of all we have gross motor skills. This involves the whole body and particularly the core. So this is your body strength, your coordination, being able to navigate space, being able to walk in a straight line, being able to jog and run and climb. All the big activities that you do with your body. So if you think about it in terms of a child going to the park, this is a child going on the apparatus, running around the park, getting on a swing, those kind of things. Gross motor skills are also really important with, as I mentioned, navigating space. So if a child is bumping into lots of different things or lots of different children, it just means that they need help with their gross motor skills, which is very normal for very young children because they're just starting to develop those skills. Fine motor skills, on the other hand, are all to do with these. So fine motor skills are all to do with your hands and all of the kind of activities that you need to be able to do with them. So this includes holding things, writing, cutting with scissors, being able to manage using hands with strength. Fine motor skills are extremely important when children get to reception or even nursery because they're going to start learning how to write. In one of my previous videos, Learning to Write, I showed you a few different activities you can do with your child when they are a pre-writer to help get their hands ready for those fine motor activities, such as writing, painting and cutting. So before a child can use their hands with their fine motor skills to do something as skilled as writing, holding a pencil the correct way and forming the letters correctly, they need to be able to develop their gross motor skills and have solid foundations in gross motor skills. So we have gross motor skills as our foundation and then fine motor skills to build on top of that. Children really can't develop their fine motor skills to their full potential if they haven't developed their gross motor skills. So everything needs to come from the core first and then children can start focusing on smaller actions with their hands such as holding, grabbing, moving and manipulating. There are so many things you can do to help your child with their gross and fine motor development. For gross motor, it's really important to get your child moving and make sure that they're active. This includes making sure that you go for walks, going to the park, engaging with apparatus such as climbing frames, playing ball games, and just anything you can do to keep your child moving and developing those core skills so that they can move on to developing their fine motor skills. Likewise, there are lots of things you can do to help your child develop their fine motor skills. It's really important to remember that fine motor skills aren't just about writing, holding a pencil. Fine motor skills start very early on when children start to hold things and really keep a grip on them rather than having a weak hold and dropping things all the time. So children will start to hold a bottle or a cup by themselves. Once a child can hold something like a cup, they can use it to drink by themselves, using their fine motor skills and coordination to be able to do that rather than spilling it everywhere. Children will then move on to feeding themselves as well. So you'll notice that children really start to use their fine motor skills very early in life and there are lots of opportunities to help them develop this. In my next video, I'm going to show you a few different fine motor activities that you can try at home but I have also shown you some in previous videos, so I will make sure to link all of that in the description box below so that you have a variety of activities that you can do with your child at home. This was just a very quick video to let you know all about fine motor and gross motor activities because I know that that terminology can sometimes be a bit confusing. 
So we have gross motor skills as our foundation, our core and whole body coordination and being able to be active and move around safely. And then we have our fine motor skills, which we can build on once we have our gross motor skills in place. And that involves much smaller detailed skills such as holding things, gripping onto things and using tools to manipulate different materials such as using scissors to cut or using a pencil or a paintbrush to mark make. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. If you liked this video and you're not subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, you can click on the bell icon to make sure you get a notification every time I post a new video. If you found this video helpful, please do hit that like button, the thumbs up button, it really helps my channel out. Let me know in the comments below if you have any activities that you like to do with your child at home with regards to gross motor or fine motor skills because I love to connect with you and find out what you're doing as well. It's really important to share practice and to share ideas. Don't forget to look out for my next video in which I will demonstrate some different fine motor activities that you can try at home. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.